Hi, and welcome back to Chase's Everything Shooting. Today's episode is going to be on the world's largest gun show, the Wanamaker Gun Show in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I went in 2023. It'll be a kind of a quick video, but there's a lot of good information here, and I'll narrate it through. But uh, thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. This is the Wanamaker Firearms Show in Tulsa, Oklahoma, the biggest show gun show around. It is under 11 acres of this building. The lower section what we're looking at now is uh, about a third of the size of the upper that we're looking at as we speak right now. There are many different items in this show. It's a very typical gun show. It has a lot of different things, a lot of different vendors. We have uh, rifles and shotguns and pistols and muskets and flint locks and just a bunch of different things there. Uh, enough for everybody to enjoy and to look. There are literally rows and rows and rows of different guns and current guns to old guns to collectible guns. Just a lot of different items at this show. Probably one of the best shows that I've ever been to. Now the pricing, you know, some items are a real good price and other items are a little high. That's very typical for all gun shows. So, you know, just keep in mind when you go, you got to have quite a bit of time. I walked 7.4 miles the first day. They say it's six miles if you hit every table. So I would just say come with good walking shoes and enjoy it. Of course, there's lots of different firearms, and these are pistols we're looking at, knives. There are a lot of different things at this show. Probably one of the better shows that I've been to. Actually, I'll let me rephrase that. Probably the best show I've ever been to. And, you know, the people were phenomenal. It's very, very well run, and it was very enjoyable. The vendor we're looking at now is a leather goods vendor. I actually bought a uh, holster from him. A very, very high quality that you don't normally see. Also, they had uh, a way to organize your mags in your safe and in your, or in your safe room. There's a lot of different vendors out there that uh, brought a lot to the table, and I would just say, you know, Go and enjoy yourself. It's going to be a long day for sure, but it is good. There are a lot of collectibles there, some for sale, some not for sale. Um, you know, I'd have to say that it was enjoyable reading about it. This gun that we're looking at is a Bureau of Indian Affairs shotgun. And uh, of course the Luger, real German Luger right here. Lots of different items. The Elvis Presley housekeeper's gun. Uh, stop that and read that, that's really good. But here comes the collectibles that the owner of the, of the show Rock Island Auction Company's December Premier Firearms Auction is absolutely packed with innovative early firearms. What we've got here in front of me is a few pieces from the Joe Wanamaker collection. A lot of people are going to be familiar with him. He's the gentleman who ran the Tulsa Gun Show, you know, the biggest gun show on earth. I've had the fortune of being to that show a bunch of times representing Rock Island Auction Company. So all of these guns before me are from his collection and they're just a small taste of what's in his collection. What kind of brings this whole set together, you can tell from a distance, all of these guns are flintlocks, but they are all actually repeating flintlocks of different designs. So we're gonna kind of take a look at how each one of these works so you can get an idea of the variety that's in the auction. And this is just the taste 
from one collection of the Outcome. We've got a bunch of firearms from other people's collections as well. A lot of other designs from the Wanamaker collection. This is just a few that I picked out. So the one that's probably the strangest and the most interesting out of this whole set is gonna be this one back here. If you look at it, I mean, if you like didn't look at the flintlock, this thing kind of looks like it's a Star Wars gun. You know I mean? It's got a really fancy looking weird multi-stage barrel with all these different, you know, basically greeble looking designs on it. And it is a very unusual gun. So what this one is, it's actually a superposed flintlock. So this gun, it's not superposed like a Browning superposed, it's superposed in terms of the loads. So this gun actually holds two shots in the barrel at one time. Making this even weirder though, is it's a superposed flintlock that's actually a breech loader. So if you look at this little stud here on the bottom and you pull that back, you can screw this barrel off by hand. That's part of the reason this barrel is designed like that is so you can actually grip it. And if you look down the barrel, you can see it's actually a rifled barrel. So shooting a flintlock back in the day with black powder, rifling made matters more complicated. It would obviously make your shots more accurate, but if the gun got fouled up, it would be harder to shoot. So by having a breech loader, that kind of mitigates that issue a little bit. And if you look, it's actually kind of interesting. The chamber itself is also rifled. So what you would do is you take the barrel off, you would load a powder charge, you'd load a tight fitting ball, most likely a patched round ball, tight on top of that powder charge. Then you would load another powder charge down into this chamber, followed by another ball and seat them all tightly together. Then you would take the barrel, thread it back on, which goes on pretty quick. You can hear that pin locked in place. So now the barrel can't move without messing with this. You'd prime the pan. You'd actually prime the pan twice. So if I bring the cock back here to half cock, you can see this pan moves. There's an upper pan and a lower pan. The top pan is gonna be for firing the first shot. The bottom pan fires the second shot. So you'd fire the first shot. Then you would pull back on this little stud, reveal the second powder charge, close, cock, fire again. So you could fire two shots pretty quickly. And aside from the innovative design on this gun, if you just look around on this pistol in general, like I said, the barrel's gonna get a really unique kind of space age looking design to it. But there's also all kinds of little details. You got little masks and faces. You've got animals and floral designs engraved here. You've got some chiseled figure here on the frizzen. But it's got a lot of really interesting details on this early repeating flintlock pistol. So this is just one way to do a superposed load in a flintlock. This is a picture of Joe Wanamaker along with Wayne LaPierre of the NRA. And the next picture is Joe Wanamaker with Mark Wanamaker, his son, who is now currently running the uh, show and is a very, very nice person. I dealt with him personally. And I have to say, this is a family affair. And if you get an opportunity, go. I don't think you'll ever regret it and I think you'll figure out that this is probably one of the best run gun shows you've ever been to. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe.